This is Operation iDroid, time to musk up. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get PSX for all 3.0. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Cydia right there. Now let that load a little bit. Then what you're going to do is going to go to Manage right there on the bottom. Sources, top right, Edit. Top left, Add. Now the source you're going to add is repo.byteyourapple.net. Add the source. We're going to get that load. Now once once that's done, you're going to click the repository, bite your apple right there. There we go. Then you're going to go down to the P for PSX for all. So let me find that there. There we go. You can see there it says PSX for all 3.0. Now that's the one we want. You go to the top install there. The reason I say PSX for all 3.0 is because I feel it runs much more smoother than 4.0.1. Now we're going to open PSX for all. And as you can see, I have a lot of ROMs here, Beyblade, all that good stuff, Final Fantasy, Gundam. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how it looks. You can see my ROMs there. And we're going to go to settings. As you can see, it has a lot of settings, Wiimote controls, all that stuff. As you can see, I have everything off, and that's the best way to use PSX for All 3.0. Everything off, and if you use a Wiimote, then have the Wiimote on. Yep, looks, that all looks nice. Now I'm going to show you a ROM in action. The ROM I'm going to show you is Final Fantasy VIII. Let that load. As you can see, the classic PlayStation Boot logo. Here we can see everything seems to be running smooth. Um, sorry you guys can't hear the audio, but the audio is also pretty decent in PSX for all 3.0. You know, it's not the best, but it's better than 4.0.1.0, I mean. I think it's pretty good. But, um, yeah, can't really see much here. Let me just skip to the next part. I'm just going to go home. Just gonna click it again. And right now I'm just gonna go to one of my save states so I could show you a good video and you could see it running. There we go. You know, it might seem to be a little laggy right now, but uh it's not that laggy really. It's just that my screen recorder. But um yeah. Most of the time you might need to add BIOS, but with this specific pass package from the repository, you won't have to. This is Operation iDroid signing out. Rate, comment, and subscribe.